We're online. We're well, doing the internet. We're doing the internet. Yeah. There's three things wrong with that statement. All right. Hello, everyone. <coughs> what? I'm Hugo. I'm Jake. What's the three things? The uh, first one is like the porn. Don't call me on the thing I just said. Oh. Then I have to come up with the three things, which I clearly didn't think of. Okay. So today we're here to open some packages and talk to you guys. So I ask scissors. Us, talk to us in the uh, chatty box. Yep. Super chats uh, will definitely get read. Everyone else, uh, we're going to try to do our best. But, uh, well, not a lot of incentive if you don't pay us. Hmm. Oh, I no could... one got mad. Now I can kind of hear us. Hold I on. I can hear us. I can kind of hear us. It's in my earbuds. Hold on. Your earbuds are so loud. I can hear them from across the room. They're like tiny speakers. <laughs> What headphones are they're tiny speakers you put in your head the mouth is the top of the butthole anyway so, <coughs> wow i came right on time that's what she said matthew that's what she said that's what she said she showed she, she has she showed she, she shells she, by the she she has a speech impediment and she doesn't like that you make fun of her for it wow fuck off it's cindy from uh cindy? the brady bunch okay. jake jake is gonna circumcise himself with that with craft scissors uh, can't can't really double up on circumcision, can you? Can I see? Can him? you double circumcise? I mean, can I be you... more circumcised than I already am? Because there's not a lot. Of... Unless they missed some of the foreskin, I'd think. No, you probably use this bottom part though, because you wanna you wanna clamp and the, it and you wanna get you, around. You would need two of these scissors, right? So one side. These don't. You know what? Because need... this is like the grippy part. You grip. You grip the the the. I assume you're not hard when you're getting your shit cut off, but. So you do this because you're you're, and we got to stay awake for it, obviously. Okay. So it's kosher, and you clamp her down. Then you need another one of these kitchen shears because it has this little circular part. This is yeah. for the foreskins. It's fine. <sighs> another quality live show for you today. Okay, we already got some fucking <laughs> Drew McTig. I think McTigu. What's your favorite dinosaur? Triceratops. I said plesiosaur on um, on uh. Uh, Telltale Atheist podcast. Was it a podcast? I don't actually know what he calls that. Where people are like, that's not a dinosaur! Yes, so I chose Triceratops. I'm gonna choose. <clears throat> uh, what's the one with the. With... It's called a sore, though. It's a plesiosaur. I thought it was a dinosaur. What's the one with the spikes on its back? Spinosaur? Is that that's a real thing? I'll yeah. go with that. Simon Kynes with two English pounds. Hippity hoppity. I want Hugo as my property. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot. It's very biblical. I wish I had control over my body as well. <laughs> anyway. What is your favorite machine at the gym? The vending machine? The door to leave? <laughs> is that a machine? The treadmill is my actual answer, but okay. I have one in my house, so I don't need to go. I have an elliptical bike because it's an exercise you can do while sitting down and harming your prostate. I was... That's a bike. That's bike humor, I guess. <laughs> yes. We're doing bike humor. Come here now. for a hot 15 on bikes. Uh, Megan Wood, giggity, uh, $10. Hey, dudes, it's M Mickey Ficky. Would you like me to gift you a great movie to decompress from the crap you're watching for our sake? Um. Yes. Send us a good movie to the P.O. Box. I would love that. Stegosaur. <coughs> good choice. It was a Stegosaur. Okay. Thank you, Drew, there again you for the five bucks. Uh, Spinosaurus was a smaller carnivore like a Velociraptor. We're not... Okay. Jurassic Park was what? 1996? Sure. The statute of limitations on us knowing dinosaurs is long gone. Yeah. yeah. And and don't, don't, call, don't come at us with the sequel dates. Those clearly don't count. Yeah, they're those making are, up. They're making up brand new shit, and Chris Pratt is like immune to pyroclastic flows. Those are living off the half life of the original movie. <laughs> period. Hugo looks so uncomfortable. Welcome to being near Hugo. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's twenty four seven. Yeah, that's you're not funny. very red today, though. Although maybe the oh. camera's making you look red, but you're not that. I look trashy. It's fine. It says the man here. <laughs> so I was actually so I liked this. I got this for Christmas from my mom. This Have I talked the, about this yet? The legend. Okay. The man, the myth, the legend. Okay. Stupid. Um, so yeah. I got this from my mom. Sorry, mom. Here's, if you're watching. That's um, a mom gift. Yeah, here it is. Um, mom, I've told you several times. I don't really care for saying things. I like this. 
It's very nice. It feels good. I like, I opened it and from behind it's just like a stripey hoodie. Very into that. Once I get this, I don't really wear this in public unless I'm also going to wear sweatpants, right? So you kind of, you kind of, you kind of cut the, the wear time on this in half when you do that. We have a juggalo question, sort of. <laughs> Jacob Dunkel with $2. Favorite Fago flavor, Moon Mist. I probably haven't had Fago in five years. Me either. I don't, it's not something no, I... No, we had Red Pop uh, when we had the Coney Dog pizza oh, two years ago. It's not something I eat, I drink like voluntarily. No, it's it, too sweet. I've never been like, oh man, I really want a Fago. It's always like I'm at a place or yeah. doing a thing and someone's like, we got Fago. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, I'd, say the, I'd say Moon Mist is probably my favorite. I did, I, grape. Grape? Grape. Ugh. I like me some purple drink. Puts the G in rape. Arcane Aranax, uh, $5. When did Daddy Hugo and Daddy Jake start making out? Hopefully never. Um, and then, but if it starts, it go. I hope it goes on forever. It's a lot of, do we sleep? No. Forever for us is until we die immediately. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if it if it does start, please do do more super chats because that's the reason it's happening is we need money. So at that <laughs> yeah at, at that point we're not doing super chats. We're probably not even on YouTube anymore. We're on Pornhub. No, we're on a corner on okay. a street in Tijuana. Okay. And someone paid us five bucks. They're like, ah, wow, five. Hey Ameri fatties, kiss a little. <laughs> Here's, here's five Tijuana and Bucks. Okay, they're, they are Mexican They're dogs. pesos, I was gonna but say. he's calling them Tijuana and Bucks because he's an American. But And we're just soiled, so we look tan. And he thinks that we are of Mexican descent. He's a racist. Not often. There's a lot going on in this scene, underlying... It's not often you aspire to be like the uh, the uh, donkey in the donkey show at Tijuana, <laughs> but I feel like if we hit that low, we might be below the donkey, so... Not literally, figuratively below the donkey. Simon Kynes, I came for foreskins, stayed for the bicycle humor. We should have done more bicycle jokes, because yeah. Simon's going to leave. Okay, let's do a first package, huh? Oh yeah, we're here to open packages. Let's do this, this one right here. It's a baggie. This is to Hugo and Jake from your online bookstore. Um, what are the odds? It's 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 manga. manga. It's pretty thin. I'm gonna say that, but this, it is about the same size. There is a 73% chance it is manga. Okay, so and what else? Uh, uh, one of them is atheism related. Another one will be two percent chance it's anthrax. Twenty five percent <laughs> chance it's literally anything else. Oh, I was gonna say a uh, Christian thing, but we'll see. This is from this is from a person whose name I don't have. This is a book called Manipulation: Cutting the Strings of Control by June Hunt. Is someone pulling your strings? Are your emotion emotional circumstances being jerked around by a domineering spouse or boss? Is a friend continually tugging at your emotions? Ooh. Whatever the case, you are the puppet uh the there's a sticker over top. Someone else is exercising the kind of control over your life <coughs> should be reserved for God alone. Into the trash with you. <laughs> you know the funny thing? I thought like, <coughs> like, like about dealing with like narcissistic partners or yeah. like oh, uber controlling partners. Oh my God. And it's talking about how badly, yeah, we're going to have to get to those in a second. It's talking about how bad it is to control people, but then it just says <coughs> the thing that's bad about it is God should do it, not other people. Ugh. <laughs> Simon Kynes, come on, public agent. I'd love to have you. I don't know what that is, but okay. DM me on Twitter. Whatever this is, I will do it. Cameron Hulbert with five uh, pounds. Hey, guys, been watching since numbers. Long time. Have you guys been keeping up with Brexit? Can't wait to live in a post-apocalypse in England. I have been a little bit. I'm interested in what's going to happen since they voted no on the deal that May did, and now she went back, and the EU was like, fuck off. So, Interesting. George Costanza wants to deep throat my fingers. Okay. Uh, mustard bus. Grape sodas are straight up toilet. I only put quality food into my eating hole. Uh, that's funny because mustard bus absolutely does not do that. <laughs> they make really bad food out of... What's the thing you guys make your food out of all the time? Like you do like a hundred different ways to make one... Is it hot dogs? No, Slim Jims. Uh, David Abbott Smith. 
Can you guys roast me, please? Those are Australian dollar dues because they changed the thing. Thank you. Why is your last name two last names smushed together? That's annoying. You belong on a penal colony. Boom! You did it again! Another joke. Molly Sisson with five dollar dues. I know the national prayer breakfast happened a few days ago, but a few things make me laugh more than seeing Trump try to pray. I actually didn't watch that. Did you watch it? No. I don't consume a lot of Trump nowadays. No. <clears throat> I try I... to stay away. Ugh. Ugh. I didn't watch it. Uh, Tiff, I'm, I'm curious. What brand of nail polish did Sarah use to paint your nails? I, I think it it was a My Little Pony limited edition blue color. But I don't know the brand. Um, Is she in the chat? Is she watching? She might be Sarah's able. watching. It was China Glaze in Ulta's Shimmer Top Coat. There you go. Existential bread with four ninety nine dollars. Happy birthday! This is my first super chat tribute. Enjoy. Whose birthday is it? I don't know. Who's but thank ever, you, existential bread. Whose ever it is, happy birthday. What kind of bread do you think would be most existential? I'm gonna go with semolina. Sourdough. Okay. San Francisco is pretty rough. So because it's it. gotta spend. You gotta spend the time <coughs> and, and let that let that go. Let it let it ferment a little. This is from Clean Earth Books. Is this for vegans? Clean Earth. Clean Earth. Could books. just be recycled books. Ooh, could be. Could be. Here you go. Dive into that bag. Dive right in. Head first. Into the bag. Who's this? Is this, this by the same person? Hold on. June something? This is by the same oh, person. Oh, that bitch. Look at her old face. Can, I, can you show them her old, old face? What an old person. Decision making. Discerning the will of God. Plenty of people are putting in their two cents, but it's all adding up to a lot of confusion. Cause... <laughs> Cause two cents! Oh. You have an important decision to make, and in the midst of swirling opinions, you're left scratching your head about what to do. Your best friend says one thing, and your spouse says another. Pray about it! But have you considered... Prayer? What does God want? Oh. Did you know, ellipses, question mark, how to overcome procrastination and peer pressure? I was planning on figuring that out, but I keep putting it off. Uh, causes for clouds of confusion. God's promises for guidance. How to develop spiritual discernment. How God reveals his will. I hate that. Oh, it's got a... In case we want to buy more books by You know her. what would be fun? Reading a chapter of this or so on live stream... Because she sounds terrible. She has Oh like, god! She has twelve books. Twelve? There's twelve books on here. I don't know if she wrote them all. Violence and emotional abuse. I don't know who's selling these or sending these, not selling. I don't there's no names on them. But thank you for sending them. Bernice Panners with two dollars. Having oral slash sinus surgery at U of M with no gas. Send luck, I assume, with clover or marijuana. So uh everyone uh either um Yeah. Put an emoji of your choice in the chat for Bernice and the oral surgery. I respect the person who just wrote, I hate old people and put a sad face. <laughs> because it doesn't seem malicious. It just seems like old people genuinely upset them. And I respect that. Jake just mixed that gem? What gem? Fine. Fine. Anyway. Biblical tools for today. Ooh, there's a, there's a, there's a, one of those? Rubik's Cube. That's it. That's the name of it. There's that. Chess. There's one of those. It's a birdcage. It's a birdcage. It's a gay play. She is officially uh, a gay. Is the birdcage based on a play? <coughs> the birdcage? Yeah, I yeah. thought so. It was. I, I saw was, the movie with Robin Williams and... I thought it was based on a French film. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Plays French films. <laughs> They're basically the same thing. They are done pretentiously. <laughs> things, they're in the category of things I don't watch. Yeah. I watch French films. <clears throat> um, Life is Beautiful. Great French film. They're remaking it with Brian Cranston and Kevin Hart. I'm good. People give that movie shit, but I think it's a beautiful movie. I've never seen it. It's, I, like, I would, I, it's good for anyone who's just Isn't it the like, highest grossing non-American film like of all time or something like that? I have no idea. I thought that was the case, and that's Maybe. why they were remaking it in America. Because <clears throat> Americans are dumb and can't just watch something with subtitles. Uh, Hugo and Jake are the health inspectors from Bob's Burgers of Christian Media. Is that, okay. Is that good? Do we do a good job? 
I don't know. I don't watch a lot of Bob's Burgers. The health inspector is. Uh... <clears throat> we don't like him. No, not a good guy. Thanks, generally. Buddy. Sean Perry with five dollars. Been watching your videos for a while now. Thanks for all the great content. How much for Hugo to do the show top? What is with this sexual? Is why can't we just be? Why can't we just be asexual funny people? All right, the price starts today. Oh God! At five hundred dollars. However, be aware the price will go up <laughs> precipitously at a certain point <laughs> over time. <coughs> That joke makes sense later. That, anyway. That's funny as fuck. Uh, Life is beautiful is Italian, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe it's Italian. I could be wrong. France, Italy. <laughs> Italy, same. France, films, plays. Yeah. We don't know... I thought it was French. About... I haven't seen it in a long time. We don't know anything we're talking about. No, I just haven't seen it in a long time. You might be right. It might be Italian. Italian would make a lot of sense. Since the fascists... <laughs> well, yeah. And then... And then... Yeah. That might be right. Mustard bus, Slim Jims, not hot dogs, you heathen. Never mind. We made Slim Jim hot dogs for the Super Bowl. Still love you guys. Maybe we'll come cook for you. I don't want your Slim Jims. Oh, I was thinking of a different movie anyway. Never mind. Life is beautiful. It's really, really good. It's about the uh, Holocaust and this this dad tries to hide the, the truth of it from his son while they're in a concentration camp. It's really cute. And like he, he's like, oh, this is a game. A lot of people don't like it for some... Like, they think it's insensitive. But I think it's like, because they're, they're doing a comedy in the Holocaust, but it's it's still a Holocaust movie, and it sure. treats that with dignity. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, another book. Two books? Did we get a double up? Who's this from? Da Book Mine. That's actually what it said. Oh. Da Book Mine. Okay. Is this from Chicago? Da Bears. That was terrible. That was, uh... I had a stroke. I was gonna of say, words. it sounded a little strokey. Like there was, uh, there was, a uh, there was an issue with your blood flow. Huh. Uh, uh. Okay, we got it. I'd love a tri Twitch stream of Hugo just doing whatever he does when he's off camera. Then he'd be on camera. Mm. Cool, every day with $10. How could you guys be streaming in the middle of a national emergency? Also, what's the best meal either of you have had since 2019 started? The best meal either of us have had since 2019 started. It's not been a long one. Um, I haven't had anything of note. <clears throat> Please keep your shirts on. Fuck you, white flags, too. That's the best way to get me shirtless. Tell me don't do it. Uh, Hal J smokes, I still suck. Um, as far as the national emergency is concerned, <laughs> what a fool! Why would you allow the Democrats to use that as precedent to do the things we, we libs like to do? What an idiot. You know you're not going to be also, in charge forever, in, right? In the announcement, he's like, I don't have to do this. He, he said the words, I don't have to do this. I just want it to get done quicker, which is the opposite of an emergency. You fucking idiot. God. Oh my God. <coughs> What's the best meal? I'm tr really trying to think of the best meal. I don't know. We're going to an Italian restaurant soon, though. Not Hugo and I, but... Um, and that's probably going to be the best meal of 2019 so far. What have I even had? Is the Italian restaurant Olive Garden? No, it's in Bay City. It's a okay. real one. Uh, no, I want, I want, like, shellfish or something. Sounds good. But, um... I don't know. Where have we even been? Outback was pretty good the other day. <laughs> We haven't, I haven't been to a lot of restaurants recently, unless you count what I make myself. Um, I threw together some really, really good broccoli cheese soup. That was really good. I tried it. It was also good in my mouth. That was, so, that was the, so that was the most cumbersome way I could have said it. It sounded like, like I had some in my mouth and then put it back on the spoon. It was like, you, I warmed it. Uh, verbal and emotional abuse from June Hunt. Same thing. I'm surprised it's not, like, cunt. You can read the back. I also have Young Cam Jansen and the Pizza Shop Mystery. Cam Jansen. <gasps> abuse, whether through hurtful words, degrading <clears throat> looks. I thought it said books for a second. I'm like, wow, this is very specific. Your spouse is writing degrading books about you. <laughs> is this personal? <laughs> Obscene gestures or threatening behaviors. That's I want a, someone to go into therapy one day and just be like, my spouse is abusing me. Oh, is it like physical or verbal? They just keep giving me the finger. <laughs> That's the only thing they do. It's constantly, like every time they look at them, they're like, 
It's seething. kind of like, a, wasn't that a joke in something? <laughs> I don't know. Um, there was a movie a while ago where every time they looked into the room, the old, it's an old person just going, hmm, and they, they played a sting. Uh. They go, dun! I don't remember what it was. Anyway, someone asked what uh, Strokey GOP, Strokey Gop, feels about 2020. I'm pretty worried the libtards are going to destroy American democracy and create a socialist, borderless state where everyone gets everything for free and bootstraps aren't used anymore. Man, it would really be terrible if everyone had health care and could be okay in this country! That's what Strokey feels like. So young Cam Jansen and the Pizza Shop Mystery. This is like a kid's book. Ooh, the crowded mall. Cam Jansen has an amazing memory. Do you? I do not. Look at this picture. Blink your eyes and say, click, then turn to the last page of this book. Gotta, we gotta be ready. Ready? Everybody ready? I'll give you some time. I'll give you some time. Let's play it. Okay, there it is. You're gonna have a little time. A little time. Here we go. Okay. Click. Take another look at the picture on page four. What color is Mr. Jansen's jacket? Yellow. Nope. Is Eric wearing a jacket? I don't know these characters. Me either. Uh, no? Eric? Cam Jansen? Wait. Is Jansen the old guy? It's purple. Okay. Is Cam wearing a jacket? Who's... Wait. Is that... Is that... I don't know. Anyway, well, maybe we'll read that at some point. I doubt it. <coughs> die, elephant, die. Strokey sounds like people I know. Yeah, me too. Strokey Gop talking to Harold Penisman. That's a lot of Jake. That's too much. Next, package. This is from Thrift Books. Is this another one of the June Hunt books? Is this whole this whole episode is it just is June just, Hunt? Is just gonna be these books? June Hunt. Zinwow GT with five dollar dues. How Afghanistan can Iraq we Venezuela afford Ghana healthcare Syria Jake Somalia? I don't know. I don't know how we could possibly Afghanistan Iraq Venezuela Ghana Syria Somalia. This book is Ten Dumb Things Smart Christians Believe by Larry Osborne. In urban legends and Sunday school myths ruining your faith? People don't set out blind to build faiths on myths, but somehow falsehoods keep showing up in, ma in the way many Christians think about life and God. You're not believing in God correctly. Why can't they ever just agree with each other? Ooh, that feels good. Is it warm in here? I'm pretty neutral. Okay. <clears throat> These beliefs are assumed by millions to be rock-solid truth until life proves they're not. The sad result is often a spiritual disaster, confusion, feelings of betrayal, distrust of scripture, and loss of faith or anger toward both God and the church. So this is when people are atheists. Let's see what, let's just look at the, the chapter titles. Let's see. Ten Dumb Things Smart Christians Believe by Larry Osborne. He dedicated it to his wife. Not surprised. Hets get the wall. Um, dumb idea number one. Faith can fix anything. You need doctors. Dumb idea two. Forgiving means forgetting. Don't forget. Keep that in mind. Forgive them, but like, use it later for ammo if you need to extort them. Uh, dumb idea three. A godly home guarantees godly kids. Unless they're not. Dumb idea four. God has a blueprint for my life. That's pretty foundational to like <clears throat> most modern Christians' beliefs. Right, but he's saying that's dumb. Yeah. Okay. Christians shouldn't judge. Christians should definitely judge. Everything happens for a reason. Life is pain. Let your conscience be your guide. Let Jesus be your guide. Now, idea eight. God brings good luck. Luck is an enigma in a, in a falsity. Dumb idea nine. A valley means a wrong turn. A valley means a wrong turn. 
Uh, ten. Dead people go to a better place. Hold on. I need to, <laughs> I need to go to 155 real quick just to see what the fuck he's talking about. Maybe he's like, a lot of people <coughs> go to hell. Most people go to hell. That's Would you like guess. to see a mini riot up close? Here's what you do. The next time you're at a funeral, stand up and tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about the dearly departed. Then step back and see what happens. It should be interesting. When it comes to fear, uh, I'm assuming he means they're not actually Christians? Mm -hmm. There's a real hell. and it's not. Yeah, he says people are going to hell. <laughs> what a jerk. X line <laughs> with one dollar. Thank you. Uh, Simon Kind with two thingies. Can you do my package so I can go to bed? I don't know which package is yours, Simon, but I like that the longer you stay up, the more pounds I get. Thank you for sending us your British pounds before they become useless, by the way. Yeah, I appreciate it. Would have been see. better if you sent just it to us them a couple years ago. But... I assume Simon is not named Charles. Sorry, bud. Where did I put those scissors? Did I give them to you? No, you wouldn't give me sharp things. I'm not I responsible. I try to not, them. but... Oh, I know where I put them. Inside my pouch. Like a kangaroo. Yep. I've adapted to my surroundings. Just <laughs> decided I need more pouches. Okay. I thought you were going to say because there was an Australian in your home. No. Okay. No, there's... That's not how that works. You can't get osmosis pouches. <laughs> Okay. She has pouches, though. She has arm pouches. She's very tactical. Okay. <laughs> That's how Australians work. Uh, this is a receipt for the Australian movie. Mm, Mojo's Entertainment. Carman? Riot, the movie, part one. A righteous invasion of truth. A carman minister. Maybe it's Carmen? I think it's Carmen. But it says, it looks like Car Man. It looks like Car Man Riot. It's a riot with a man car. <laughs> In this ambitious and long, wait, long form. How long is it? It doesn't say the runtime on Can it. I see it. Do you want, which one? Yeah. Okay. Running time, 50, <coughs> 54 minutes. Oh, that's not super long form. No. Car Man takes his music videos to a new, what? He has music, this is a musical? Riot the Movie Part 1 is a musical? Do you have a VCR converter? Yeah. For the first time ever, he ties music video to action and adventure in a story that is guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Car Man stars as Vic Rizzo, a two-fisted... A two-fisted Chicago policeman who struggles with raising his two children in the violent streets of the inner city. But he's white... He decides to escape a small he is he decides to escape to a small Midwest town but soon finds out that serious trouble has followed him there drama plot twists and music videos highlight this action packed cliffhanger Look there's a list of them fucking music This is bad guys this is bad news Part 1 is there a part 2 do you think Oh of course there's a part 2 well, there's no History of the World Part 2, but there's a History of the World Part 1. Oh. That's a Mel Brooks joke, though. So. <coughs> I'm still sad we never got Jews in space. That's a History of the World Part 1 reference. This accent is classist. That's true, George. That's true. It's more Blues Brothersist, I would argue, than, uh, but okay. This is from Kay Silva! I bet you could rip that open. Let's see. I bet on you. Yep, you got it. You got real rippy hands. You just rip it stuff. Another book. There's a note. Oh, no. We probably have to do this one. This is pretty funny. Okay. This is... Let me just read the back real quick. All right. Megan Wood, $5. Haha, -ha, I used to get down with some car man in my Jesus freak days. I'm a total dork. Uh-oh. Josh White, I grew up on that. I have never heard of this car man thing. Thank you for the ten and five dollar reduce. <laughs> I want you to see this before I read it. <laughs> so here's the short answer. What do I say to a friend who's gay? Are they are they a are they a a, a, a dude or a lady? It doesn't matter. Well, yeah. 
Enjoy the dicks or enjoy the vajoo. The back says, don't turn your back on those who need you the most. You don't have to understand homosexuality in order to love someone. So is it, it literally says that. Is it about conversion? Yes. Oh. Yep. I'll just read the back cover. How do I show understanding and true concern <clears throat> when I found out my friend is gay? What do I say? If I stay friends with him or her, won't others suspect I'm gay? What the fuck? How should I act towards <coughs> my gay friend? What do I say to a friend who's gay? Uh, we'll help you find the real practical answers to these questions. You will learn what the Bible says about being gay. Kill him. Kill your friend is what the Bible says. Oh. And that's what the Bible says. And how you can show real love for your friend the way Jesus would without judging or hating the person. Using real life stories and some biblical teaching. Real life stories and some biblical teaching. It's, you're, is that you're trying to, you're telling people they're not valid because of the Bible. Shouldn't that be your main size, source cited? If you guys want to... Let me look at the let me look at the chapter headings. I, I don't care what kind of genitals you want to suckle on. I don't care. There's a cornucopia of them. Out I there. don't see the appeal of dicks, but like, I get it. Go the, for it. World, I like it. The world's a musky crotch buffet. It you, really is. And you have a it's a musky a crotch free, buffet. Free pass. Well, you don't have a free pass. You need to get the other person to sure, open the door once, to their own once, personal buffet. But once the consent is, then it's a buffet. Eat away. Anyway, I'm starving. Uh, let's see the chapter titles. What do I say when my friend tells me they're gay? What do I say when someone hints those guys are gay? What do I not? There's not a chapter on what do I do if people hint those girls are gay? <laughs> what do I say when I'm not <coughs> sure if my friend is gay? Mind your own fucking business. They'll like, tell what? you if they want see, to. What? what do I say when I see? Warning signs. I'm going to that chapter. What's a warning What's sign? What's a warning having, sign? Having a same-sex... Walking in on someone other? and they have a cock in their mouth. <laughs> oh, it's not what it looks like. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Then. Bloop. Simon Kynes. My package has my name, you ducks. Please remove profanity filter. Do I have a profanity filter? I'm stealing jobs, so I'm getting kicked out of the UK. I don't know what that means. Jacob Dunkel... I busted my ass on I on an ice patch. Hashtag pure Michigan. Uh I don't have a Simon. Nope. I have three more packages left, and I have no Simons. I went to the P.O. box <coughs> today and got everything, so it must just not have gotten here yet for some reason. Pork, pork, with two pounds. What is pork? Pork is pig. Pig is good. Eat pig. Even if they're borderline sentient. I make good bacon. That, <laughs> I mean, what do you mean you make good bacon? I make it good. You make it sound like you have a pig in your backyard that you, like, have slaughtered and butchered and you know how to butcher no, a pig. he's not dead. He makes more bacon if you okay, keep just him alive. Fry. I don't think frying bacon makes you... I don't fry it. You bake it? Of course I do. Okay. Not yeah. a fucking heathen. You mean, uh, it's totally different when you make it different ways. I like fried bacon a lot better. I mean, you can live it however you want, but you're wrong. I disagree. Because you're wrong. Bacon war. You would lose. No. Occam's Razor, $2. What do you want me to send you? It's a loaded question. Something we will appreciate? A will to live? Just one Espesto with five Canadian dollars. Oops, hi Hugo, I just tripped and fell on this dick mouth first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how it works. You ever fall on a dick with your face? Nope. Me either. I always fall butt first. That's how I would prefer it. If I have to pick. And I'm always pre-lubed because of the hemorrhoids. That's just blood. You know, we're going to move on. <sighs> JTB with uh, like a like a manila envelope with just this. And then that made it through the mail. Holy shit. That made it through the mail. It's not, it's not sealed. Someone allowed this. This is Wolverine. Prodigal Son. We actually got a gift that maybe you'll enjoy. Is it manga Wolverine? I, I don't think it is. No, it's just kind of. It's an American manga. It's in. It's in the correct order. 
right? But it's kind of in manga style. Like there's a there's a samurai. <laughs> this is not the Wolverine you know. Logan is a teenage rebel with a real good reason for having a real bad attitude. Ever since being left in a nearby forest with no memory of who he was or how he got there, Logan or Wolverine, as his classmates sometimes call him, have been stuck in a martial arts school in the icy wilds of Canada. You know, where all the martial arts schools are. You No wonder he's bored, restless, yearning. There's a whole world out there, and Logan can almost taste it. But he's chained to the past he can't remember and can't escape. Now it just may destroy his future. I don't think, uh... Teenage Wolverine was ever a thing. Isn't the idea that he was like in his thirties and then got the got the got the powers? Yeah. <coughs> Meg and Wood, Mickey Ficky here. He's really old. No, he got the powers when he was younger, but like he he got He, he doesn't have one of the, the He doesn't have the adamantium skeleton until later in yeah, life. You're right. Because Stryker <coughs> adds that to him, I believe. Mickey Ficky here. I noticed a profanity filter on Facebook today. Does the Matrix have us? Is this the end times? Um, I don't know, but if so... This looks like just Bone Claw Wolverine, though, so this might be yeah. just, like, a prequel. Yeah. Hook me up to, uh, um... I just watched The Matrix recently, most of it. Um, what's the guy's name? Cypher? When he's yeah. eating that steak? Put mm -hmm. me in that Matrix restaurant. That's where I want to be. Where the Merovingian... Merovingian? No. That's a sequel. He's yeah. in the sequel. Okay. Yeah, those are vampires. Not Ray Halliburton. Come on, dear Ray Halliburton. Bacon is overrated. I agree. Like, I don't think, like, bacon is, like, the greatest food of ever. But bacon's pretty good. Like, of you say ham's your favorite pig product, right? Yeah. Uh, I gotta go with, with, with bacon, I think. Bacon is good for many things. I get it. It's a meme food. It's been overdone. No, I like, like it for breakfast. I like putting it in I'll certain like, things. The I'll texture's like... good. The flavor's good. I like the little salty. Uh, it's good. It's, um, yeah. It's not something I would eat, eat every day. No. Like, we just bought <coughs> bacon for the first time in months recently. Sure. And had a few of them, and I don't know if I'll get through the whole thing. Like, bacon on a burger, if it's good bacon and <coughs> yeah. it works with a burger, can kick it up one to two points for me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Occam's Razor, how has Harold P. Penisman been doing lately? Uh, he voted for uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. <laughs> um, but he thought that it was for her to be overlord, um, because he's not old enough yet, because he lives in the future. Right, so... When he starts his fascist Nazi socialist regime, then truly he will be okay. I got a real heavy one here from uh, Amazon.com Return Center. Um, is this something that just was returned no. for some reason? This doesn't say it's from anyone. Maybe this is Simon's. Simon, did you send this? <laughs> Simon says. There's a joke in there somewhere. It's my job to write it, but I didn't. Sorry. Uh-oh. You can't see this. I can't. Did you see it already? No. Good. This is from Steven. Hi, Hugo. Because you won't read the manga I send you, here's this shit. From Manga Man Steven. Is it manga? More? He said... Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> you got musked! <sighs> Elon Musk. Tesla, SpaceX, and the Quest for a Fantastic Future by Ashley Vance. Get musked, bitch. Am I gonna have to hate read this? Get musked. I don't even, like, oh god. Honestly, I would sit here. Why would I would literally sit here and you could do, you could do a Jordan Peterson style read, but we could just do live and I'll just sit here while you read it out loud and we can discuss it. Elon didn't write this, it's just an... It's his, about Elon. First of all, his face it's, looks weird on the cover. It's I don't know jerking what jerking Elon off. The lighting is weird, and it makes his face look way thinner. He looks like get musked. He looks like Elon Musk, but if he got AIDS, circa the year Freddie Mercury got it. I'm not even kidding. Eighty six. Look at his face. It's weird. It's gaunt. Bad lighting. I don't like it. It's probably great lighting. I don't like Elon Musk. <clears throat> Hugo's hate boyfriend. He's ever. It's pretty much your hate boyfriend at this point. Yeah. It is. He That's is. True. 
Uh, that would be nice, though. That's a sugar daddy as fuck. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, Elon. Elon. Hit, hit me up. Hit me all up. The, I, for, for all the money you got, I will suck your gross Elon dick. Do you think it's like... Do you think it's got, like, elf ears? <laughs> Seems like the kind of thing. Like a little, do. like a weird ear. Or I, he, I bet he has a Prince Albert. He's like, I went to Lithuania and got elf ears attached to my penis. Why Lithuania? It's I the only know. place it's legal. Yeah. <laughs> Flew there on my pl- private jet. Did you see it lands it? by itself. <laughs> Did you see recently the Elon Musk <coughs> they, they charted like all I'm the dying. flights he took over the course of a year on his private jet? I'm dying. How much was it? He was taking like he was taking like ludicrous private jet flights for no reason. He was taking his jet driving distances from factories to other factories in California. And I get it. He's a CEO or whatever. I feel like that would take longer. He just because you have to taxi and he strikes me as the kind of person who doesn't like to be around other people. So he likes to probably go from his mansion to his limo to the airstrip to his private plane back to a limo to wherever he's going, and then as little contact with the outside world as he can. I'd hey, imagine is his goal. But that sounds like what you would do. But that's why I hate him so much. <laughs> If I was that rich and I behaved like that, people should not respect me and claim I'm trying to help the future. I'm being a selfish asshole in that case. If everyone was like, oh, Elon Musk, that selfish, weird asshole, I'd be like, yeah. yeah. But he could do whatever he wants. It's not that. It's the fake, it's the character. It's the this yeah. fake facade he puts up and everyone like buys <laughs> into in the media. It's like, oh, Elon Musk, he's saving the future. He's going to blah, blah. No, no. He's a crazy asshole billionaire CEO who just knows how to use social media. A lot of these media people, they get played by people who know how to use social media. It's fucked up. He's a liar. End of diatribe. We got free Hugo time. (sighs) Zinwow GT, so bad, got it for 75 cents. It's a BJ for Musk. Let me look at the chapter titles. Frenic, 32 with $2. What are you going to Twitch stream, Hugo? Your computer's not working very well, to be fair. No, but I, I I use my PlayStation to stream anyway. Oh, fair enough. So, I don't know. <clears throat> but I do need to. I have the channel. It's uh, Twitch. It's Hugo Reloaded on Twitch, yeah. if you want to look it up. At some point, I promise I'm going to do that. I plan on it. Hey, Jake, when's the next Taking Out the Trash? At 8.30 tonight. <clears throat> so about two hours, not even. Uh, an hour and 45 minutes. Um, and uh, Sarah and Mon will be on there with me. Um, I think that's it. We got one more. Are Jake Snails painted for a joke or does he just like to feel pretty? Um, I got, uh, the Twitch they're talking about. Twitch.tv slash actual Jake. Uh, come to Twitch. You'll enjoy it. If you like this, you'll like that. Um, <clears throat> uh, for us, uh, subscription milestone, uh, they got to choose what happened and they chose my nails being painted. So Sarah, my girlfriend, came on and, um, painted my nails. And it looks pretty good. I'm gonna. It, it actually. I might take it off before the stream though, or or just after or during. Who knows? It bugs me how this shit's characterized too. Like it says, Musk ran away on his own to Canada and ended up at Queen's University on in Ontario, living in a dormitory for foreign students. Like his family owns an emerald mine. He is not some fucking yeah. like self made. No, 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 no. <sighs> no, his family is rich. He. Got where he got, (laughs) in large part because of his family's money. Stop! Uh, Jacob Dunkel, I want to see Hugo eat a mac and cheese pot pie on stream. I have one at my house. I do. Uh, someone asked what color I would consider my hair. At this point, it's, I don't know. What would you say? Rose gold? (laughs) Uh, I'm thinking about re-dyeing it, though. Sarah's kind of worn me down. And so is chat. We'll see. See what happens. Jake's hair and nails look pretty rare. What's that? Is that a, is that a thing? Let me see what Tesla stock's doing. By the way, everyone. Oh, good. It's only at 3.07. I've been super... Okay, for... Ah. What? What's at 3.07? Tesla stock. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. At the end of the month, uh, Tesla has some bonds coming due, and if their stock price doesn't hit like 350, 360 a share, they have to pay back the bonds in cash. Supposedly, the bonds are totaling something like 900 million, and their current liquidity is something like 3 billion. <coughs> so they're going to be wiping out about a third of their liquidity immediately. 
It's going to be fucking beautiful, which pisses me off because I want electric cars to succeed. But Elon, fuck you. All right, I'm done. That was the second time you've been done. I'm just saying. I'm done. Okay, we have this one. Well, that's a big one. It says, The Nature Conservancy from Peter. Okay. In Louisville, Kentucky. The Nature Conservancy. Is he a vegan? Did he send us hate mail? Because you eat bacon, mac, and cheese I don't know why that would be the case. I've conceded to the vegans. You are correct. The vegans are right. I am morally incorrect as far as I'm concerned for eating meat. I just can't. I think you're not less ethical. It. I don't think you're morally okay. incorrect. Okay, uh, sure, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I <clears throat> agree with vegans in the sense that it is more ethically right to not right. for raise those things for, for food, those without but... a limited diet. I think I think it's more. There's some people that can't really do it because they're allergic to a lot of things, or they just can't palate it, and so I get that. But like, we have discuss this discussion online today. Um, a lot of people don't live in places like Michigan where you can have produce really easily. Sure. And so it's tough. But the vegans in general, I think, are... As they do... They, they have pretty good arguments. The thing they shouldn't do is try to guilt people. The thing they should do is make the ethical argument. As the... Because people the, are going to get... No, good. Go ahead. Sorry. As the lab-grown meat thing starts being a thing, I'll start using that instead of, like, normal meat, but... <gasps> yeah. Ooh. This person sent me a thing that I wanted... Uh, survive this. Dark Places in Demogorgons, the role-playing game. Uh, in the 1980s, strange things happen everywhere. This is, um... Is it, uh... <coughs> Eric, Eric and Josh, uh, wrote this. To Hugo and Jake, thanks for your awesome channel. Keep up the great work. Uh... Some... What's that say? Enter? Let me see. Something Joshua Palmer. Um... I've seen the cryptid manual. I have seen this around, and this is this is bookmarked for some reason. Oh, I know why this is bookmarked. The crocoduck. Here's a quote from the cryptid manual. If evolution is real, then where is the crocoduck? Cameron Comfort, Street Preacher. Look at this. I've seen a pack of them down by the fishing pond on Dillahunty Farms. Jake Hugo, local fisherman. Yeah. We're in a book? Yeah, we're in many books. We've actually been in a couple books before, but yeah. Oh. Uh, is this 5e compatible? It has an AC, one action. No, it has morale and terror. I could probably convert this, though. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool as shit. Sweet. <clears throat> is this, does this have a note on it? Dear Hugo and Jake, <clears throat> I would like you like to thank you for your channel. It always puts a smile on my face. Since uh, you all talk about D&D sometimes, I thought... You all might enjoy a copy of an RPG series I co-created called Dark Places and Demogorgons. It is set in the 80s, and you play high schoolers that have to deal with monsters, bullies, and homework. It's like Stranger Things meets the Goonies, Lost Boys, Scooby-Doo, etc. Uh, hope you enjoy the books. I have included a special Easter egg for you two and uh, some others in the community. Um, thanks for keeping up the great work. Uh, Peter. Oh, it's Peter. Peter Joshua Palmer. Josh Palmer. Bloatgames.com, uh, no good, it's full of steam at Gmail. This is um, fantastic. Just flipping through this, by the way, like, this, this one is called Survive <coughs> This, Dark Places and Demogorgons. Yeah, said, this is dope. The art style in these is a mixture of classic D&D &D art style and also combined with, like, old yearbook photos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I DM you on Twitter, you need to collect my package. Uh, did it stop? I mean, did it show up today? I went there this at about... This is super cool. You I went there today, the, near closing, I was closing, at 3.30. Right? There wasn't a note. Yeah. Let me, yeah. Unless it, like, got there today and by, like, tomorrow when they're sorting we'll through the mail. We'll, we'll get it, it at some point. I promise. Uh, Megan Wood, I could listen to Hugo rant all day. I don't even know what... <coughs> like, I wish that someone would give me something else to rant about because I've said the same five things about Elon Musk a million times. He's just a scammy dude. I, there's only so many times you can be like, yeah, he lies constantly and people believe him for some reason. It's weird. Yeah. This is super cool. Uh, Dark Places and Demogorgons, you should go there. Uh, I assume this is like their monster manual, the cryptid manual, because it has a lot of different stuff in it. I love all the art. It's very, very cool. It's not 5e compatible, but if you have a good DM, he could figure this out if you want to run the 5e module. Otherwise, uh, it has its own system in this book. Uh, this is like the how to play mm -hmm. with classes and everything. Really cool. Made their own system. Bloatgames.com. Thank you very much. I saw this online. 
Um, pork, pork. Vegans are right, but individual action is futile, in my opinion. A government animal agricultural tax, I believe, would be a more effective solution. I don't think I don't think veganism is very good in capitalism because there's a lot of incentive to give people cheap crap. Mm-hmm. Um, I think veganism makes more sense in a socialist society. Uh, Frank, 32 with $5. I had to write a paper on veganism last semester. I feel like it made a decent argument for eating meat based on social contracts. Yeah, I mean, like, again, I think the stronger argument is it's, it's more ethical to eat plants on an individual level. But once you expand out to the macro and how it affects the environment and stuff, there's a lot of arguments that go both ways. So I'd like to see overall how this ends up. Um, I assume they're they're correct because it seems it just seems very intuitive that that <clears throat> like not not having cattle makes sense. But consider that the animals you're trying to uh, save sure. cows and pigs and stuff like that, especially cows and chickens, likely to go extinct if you just stop eating them because they don't they're not In they're fairness, not what we they're not capable of living outside of us now because we fucked it. We've deme- they're domesticated. A domesticated cow and chicken is very different than like what you would right. consider a wild cow. Exactly. We fucked their species. So yeah. like like if you want them to go extinct, that's what happens, right? Yeah. If we don't eat them, they go extinct. So I like, would argue that is uh, long term that's probably what's going to happen. Absolutely. And I think so. Like and is that bad or good? I don't know. To, to raise them only to suffer. I mean, there's a good sure. argument against that. So I like the classes and subclasses in this, by the way. Yeah, uh, the, it's really cool. There's the brain, the athlete, the outsider, popular, and rebel, and there's subclasses within all of them. It makes a lot of sense. Like, uh, like 80s movies, horror yeah, movie like tropes. The kid scientist, <coughs> the nerd. Like, yeah. Pineapple pizza fan, the pineappling with $5. I don't know what to say here, but take my goddamn money anyway. Well, I appreciate you, pineappling. Um, this is cool as fuck. Yeah. I wonder if we could learn this really easily and do it on a stream once. It'd be fun. Um, it's super interesting. Is it a... It, what kind of system is it? D6? I don't know. A lot of these do like D6. Like, like they roll we'll a D6 instead of a D20 for many of their major rolls. Yeah, it is a D6 system. Got it. <clears throat> uh, what do I need to play? You need some paper and a pencil. Uh, this handbook and a set of role-playing dice. Um, standard set include four, one four-sided, two ten-sided. Oh, okay, so it has a 20. Um, dice reference. In the coming books, you'll begin with 1d6. Well, maybe it's not. It could be a d20 system. Uh, they have similar... This is very interesting. I would like to learn how to do this. It has a similar ability score modifier, too. Not quite the same, but it's, sure. it goes by threes. And 18 seems to be the top. Disfigured. Uh, Charisma reduced to four permanently. Simon Kynes says, I wrote a far better article essay uh, on whether things exist. Much cooler. It's been there for two weeks, so I don't know. I wrote a far better article essay. Oh. It's been in our P.O. box for two weeks? I'd be very surprised if that didn't get fucked up. Maybe. Because you, you were just there. Yeah. It could conceivably. Did it come in just an envelope? I guess it could be in my car somewhere if I didn't catch it. That's fair. That's fair. Who knows? Chupacabra in love. I'll double check the box in my car and everything next time I go. Alien life form? I really like game systems. This is cool. One more shout out because it's just dope. <laughs> Bloatgames.com. Go to this. Dark Places and Demogorgons. I think you'll like it. Huh! I'm surprised. Are they allowed <clears throat> to use the word Demogorgon? Yeah, Demogorgon there? is not a D&D thing. That's not a creation of D&D? It's something they also used from folklore or something? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Though. Um, Hugo's young face. <clears throat> Are you tired? Are you sleepy today? No. I'm actually just getting a little warm now. Hmm. This article of clothing oh, is free. Did you get a cramp? Yeah. You got a cramp in I your like shoulder? I pinched a nerve in my like, you rub trapezius. It out? That's not a thing. Is that a like thing? Like right here. The It's the thing that's like between... I don't know. Your, ah! Do you want me to rub it? I'll get you. Nothing less. I want nothing... Cameron nothing. Hulbert! Fine. Five pounds. All you guys writing cool papers. I had to write a paper on whether John Cage's four minute, 33 seconds is music or not. It's just four minutes of silence. What's the 33 seconds? Is the 33 seconds music? 
I think they were saying, like, it's four minutes of silence, but they were saying four minutes, but it's four minutes and 33 seconds. They meant the whole thing. (coughs) Woo, striping, Hugo. I don't think that's what that was. Okay, so you have uh, between four and ten minutes to ask us questions. And then that's the end of the stream. It's the end of it. I've you okay? Just, I've sustained an injury. I'm out for the season. We don't have seasons. We have games. You're out for one game. Okay. That's but this weird. is the game you're out for. Okay. Well, now you're out for the next upload. Because uh, I'm already editing that myself. What do you? What's that one? Is that your abortion thing? Oh yeah. Okay. Debated abortion. You can sit that one out. Sounds good. You've already done so, so succeed. You've done success. What are you looking up? Did you just look up Elon Musk on your phone? No. What'd you look up? Just on Reddit. Just on our all. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders interviewed by Special Counsel's Office. I hope she goes to jail. Yeah. I don't know what she's done. I just kind of want to see her in jail. Because <laughs> I don't like her. I'm bummed out Sean Spicer got out so early. That dude Wait, he went to jail? No, 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 no. I'm saying he got out of the administration. Oh, oh, so oh, easy. oh, oh. I, uh, <clears throat> I kind of wish he had uh, paid for some of the shit he did. I have a $10 Amazon gift card. What should I get? Uh, a delicious snack you would otherwise not purchase. That's about what you can get for 10 bucks. <laughs> Adrian Fournier come for, with two euros... Creme fraiche base pizzas are the best. Truth. The best? Creme fraiche is pretty good. I've never had creme fraiche. <coughs> it's kind of like um, a little acidic cream cheese. It's pretty good. Um, well, well, not quite goat cheese. Somewhere in there. Uh, nice and mild, though. Um, I would say the best pizza I've ever had had an olive oil base with garlic. That was my favorite pizza. The best pizza I've ever had was at the Emerald Restaurant in Flor- in Orlando. Mm. Uh, which, in fairness, I don't go to, like, restaurants and get pizza a lot. So Me either. So my bar is super high, and it was, oh. like, but, like, it was a really good pizza. I don't know what, it seemed like really fresh ingredients. Although it could be a perception thing, it could be a, I'm in a restaurant that's sure. like, you know what I mean? I well, thought it was good at the in, time, though. In Traverse City, I forget the name of the place, there's a pizza place, <clears throat> and they do, they have a, a white pizza with artichokes and stuff on it, and that's that's what that is, it's sure. really good. They have a an oven, and they, they have really, like, bubbly crust, it's really good. Really good shit. <clears throat> Hi, Tyler Anderson, happy to have you. I've never had hummus pizza. Pineapple pizza. No. No. Who hasn't had who hasn't had pizza with garlic butter on it? I feel like garlic and butter happens a lot. Garlic butter, I think uh like one of the one of the Jets has garlic butter on it all the time. Yeah, uh even Pizza Hut I think has an option for yeah. the crust where you can get like garlic butter put on it before they bake it. <sighs> Jets is really fucking good. It's so expensive, but it, it is, is really good. Expensive. I always get too much. It doesn't seem like it's, but it's, it's got a lot of shit on it. My pizza, no matter how much pizza I buy, it's it's gone very quickly. My pizza desire expands to meet the pizza uh, inventory. <laughs> Simon Kynes, Jacquet, are you annoyed at how little Hugo does for the channel? What? You should go solo. Space Jam review still. W- it's the Space Jam. I see. Uh, I see. No, the Space Jam review, I want to hold over all of you people for... At least four years. It's been what, one? I don't know. One year? I want sheep lung on pizza. Why is... what? Will, will you review Superbook? What's Superbook? Superbook? You, we've talked about this. Superbook is a really bad CG animated Christian kids program. It is on YouTube. Do we have it? It's on YouTube. I mean, do we have it for... I, Our purpose, like I can get it and put it on the wheel next time we have the blank wheel. Spots. Sure, next time we do a Christian movie quickies, <coughs> it'll replace one of the spots on the wheel. For so April Fools, you should guys should do a PO boxing stream where you send back the worst things you've gotten. <laughs> we just send Stephen all of his manga back. I don't want to pay for that shit. This box of pennies, but send it like uh, uh, K 
cash upon delivery or whatever. You should send that box of pennies to another country (laughs) so they can't use them. What's more useless than pennies? (coughs) Pennies in any country other than America. Send them to Canada somewhere. It's Christian anime? Like, I wouldn't even bring this into a coin star. I feel like the machine would judge me. Like, That's a lot of pennies. The machine would be like, you picked up that many pennies? I like that you still have your, your tinfoil hat over there. You never know when you need it. The psionic attacks. Well, they come without on? warning. Do I have to? Well, you don't have to do anything. You can, I disagree. You, you can consent to this or not. That's your choice. I want you to. I want you to choose. I'm going to share with you and everyone else something that's been happening to me today. Okay. So today, when I got out of the shower and I put my clothes on, the underwear I picked out, the elastic is broken on them. So all, around the around the waist. So all okay. day, my pants aren't falling down, but my underwear inside my pants have been falling down. So I was at Kroger earlier walking around. And I was like. <laughs> And it's like below your ass? It's the weirdest feeling because <laughs> I keep thinking like I gotta pull my pants up. That's funny. People can see my butt, but they can't. It's just that I've done that before. Very sometimes odd. I wear like I, wear, I have these track pants up. Uh, and uh, I put I have basketball shorts on underneath. And if I don't tie the basketball shorts, sometimes they'll slide down. Sure. Underneath and I have the same sensation. Joshua Afro Magic with four ninety nine. When are you two gonna fit first? When are you two gonna first on the God Awful Movies podcast? Also, I just uh, love you adorable fucks. I don't know what that means. Like, first show up on the God Awful Movies podcast? That's with uh, uh, No Illusions, right? <clears throat> nice. Uh, I don't know. We talk about it a lot. Um, I'll have to contact them. Pineapple Pizza Fan, the pineappling with $20! Overpriced. I want a pizza that's shaped like Stephen Baldwin's face. Still more appetizing than pineapple pizza. Nice. Guest, not first. Oh, okay. Joshua Afro Magic. Thank you. Um, I don't know. I've talked to Noah a few times about that. I've talked to um, e- Eli about it. Eli Bosnick. Um, we'll have to do it. I don't know. We'll make time. I have a lot of people trying to get uh, get us to do stuff right now. So, I'll, uh, Stopping pennies is very SJW. <laughs> Kroger for Shane Hugo. Myers or nothing. It's Meyer, first of all, Jacob Dunkel. Second of all, Kroger is very fancy. Although, have you been to this Meyer? Which Meyer? This one over here. Tibidawasi? Yeah. yeah. Tibidawasi? What is it? Tibidawasi. Oh. Not sorry. that it matters, it's just. Sorry, dead Native Americans that we stole your land. Yikes. Anyway, what? <laughs> uh, that one's very Kroger like now. Yeah, I've been. Have they redone it? I've been in there. I go to both. It's just that yeah. if I'm. If I'm if I'm grocery <coughs> grocery shopping, like for you know, yeah. I go to Meyer. If I'm just like picking up dinner, I usually go to Kroger. It's Kroger quicker. also has a lot of stuff that's already prepped. Yeah, which I like. Uh, Adrian Fournier, come uh, with two euros. Did God was once in one of the parcels? Why not? What? Someone had a stroke. Adrian, what a what a wasted European Union currency. <laughs> um kroger is fancy what yeah no our kroger we have a nice kroger um it's fancier it's got a lot of the it's got a lot of the um they've kind of done themselves up I, it's what i would call a grocery store cosplaying as a whole foods does that make yeah, sense? yeah this this one because the other one closed that was shit yeah um yeah. but we have a nice one it, it does but it has a really really great deli it has a lot of fresh yeah. produce and it's really they nice put some natural woods in there to make you think the food is fresher well, I think the food is pretty fresh. I know, but... Have you been to a Walmart and looked for produce? I know, but it's Yikes. like... It's a psychological trick, you know oh, what absolutely. I mean? But I mean, like, I don't go pro- I don't go produce shopping at Kroger anyway, but it's too too expensive. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... I'm not against the overhaul, by the way. I do no. enjoy shopping in a but nicer Kroger, looking environment. I don't know. You don't really search for this kind of stuff, no. but there's a lot of international stuff you can't really get anywhere else at Kroger. Sure. Um, they have a pretty decent wine selection, although, again, this, this one, this Meyer <laughs> over here redid, and now they have a huge wine yeah. selection. Um, so it just depends on what you want. If you want produce, I go to Meyer. I mean, there's not really a better place to get it around here. And they have good options. I've never bought <coughs> produce and been like, and had an opinion on it. Well, it's so. way more expensive at Kroger, so that's the opinion I get. Um, hey, this is from Backslider okay. Ministries. Hey, I was a Christian in a cult, and I want to thank you for the work you do to promote free thought. I just came out as an atheist, and it feels good. I'm happy you're not in a cult anymore. 
uh, being in a cult uh, sounds not fun. <clears throat> unless, unless it was an orgy was, cult. I was going to say, unless you're the leader, then it's probably a lot of fun. Dude, the leader, the leader in a cult's the best spot to be. Yeah. Although you're technically raping people. You have more fun as a follower. You make more money as is a leader. That, is that rape if it's under false pretense? Yes. Okay. Depends on the state, actually. I would well, say... Well, I just mean dep- just more, ethically, morally. Ethically, yes. I think so, too. Yes. I think so. Legally, it depends on the state. <coughs> Assuming they're all of age and consenting, though, yeah. it's pretty hairy. But I'd, I'd say it's a, it's a version of sexual assault yeah. if it's not. Yes. Very interesting. Um, market basket? I don't know anything about that. Would you guys write a TBR book? I, we've, we've talked about this. We've literally, like, I this, have, this I, was years ago. I have, a, I have a chapter. We have a chapter that's a rough draft from, like, five years ago that probably all needs to go in the trash and be rewritten. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, um, but I think, I think I'm, I'm a better writer now. Yeah. I assume we have a better grasp as well. So, I don't know. Maybe. What kind of book should we even write? I if we wrote know. a book, what kind of... Bo- people like books now. Books are back. The original thing we had was a, just a Bible reloaded book where we took the Bible, similar to the show, you know, the Bible study, be, except in be, book form. It'd be kind of for like kids and it'd be <sighs> like not necessarily for children, but for like like fifteen. Like I don't know if there's a market for it, but I don't know either. But it might be interesting. Sure. I don't really want to put that work in though. Writing is fucking hard. Anyone who's a professional writer, good on you. Pineapple pizza fan, the pineapple two dollars. I still love you, Hugo. Gene G. <laughs> With two dollars, I was wrong about something, and I'm still ashamed. Everyone's wrong about something sometimes. Um, <clears throat> Scooch with ten dollars is Elon's BS not worth inspiration? Look at the Falcon Heavy launch. Car in space has inspired children and adults. Rockets landing are our new space shuttle. They're iconic symbols of U.S. superiority. Oh, I don't God. like that last part. I don't either. <clears throat> the idea that you, the United States needs to be superior in order for the human race to succeed is pretty shitty. Um, I, okay, as far as, like, as far as like the SpaceX stuff, that's not on Elon. That's on the engineers, right? Yeah, I don't so, like Elon Musk. I don't necessarily have a problem with Tesla <clears throat> or SpaceX. I have a problem I don't with have, Tesla's business model. I don't have bad. enough... After you showed me all that shit, I'm like very anti-Tesla. I've heard bad things, but a lot of that I think does come down to Elon and the Tesla stuff, the SpaceX stuff. I don't know enough about it, enough about it to have an opinion. Elon Musk as an individual is a bad person, is a bad personality to look up to. Uh, that's just my opinion. He like calls <coughs> people pedophiles. Yeah. He like he's just nuts. He's a crazy person. I mean, if you fuck kids, you're a pedophile. If some of the stuff SpaceX has done has inspired you, great. That's I thought, not, that, I that's thought that not, rocket car was cool. It was it was neat, but I mean, like, eh. The cult of personality just, and it gives this impression, again, this myth of the rugged individual, like, saving the world. Well, if you own that an is, emerald mine, it helps. That's not the case. It's not how things work. <clears throat> One individual, even a person with great ideas, isn't going to come and shake shit up. I'll come and shake shit up. Maltheus Berserker with $2. Have y'all seen the Aum Shinrikyo cult anime? No! We have not seen your obscure anime! Ever! Or the manga! It's never happened and it never will! Simon Kind with two, uh, two pounds. Is it... If I'm religious, though, cause God. Uh, yes. Uh, Jaguari! Five dollars. I love your show. Will you ever do the Book of Mormon? Yes, I have one. We will do it. Uh, after this book. We're almost, we're not actually super far off, but like, I think it'll take two years if we, although we've been not doing a lot of them recently because we want to do a lot of other stuff. Next week it needs to be another Bible. (coughs) Yeah. Probably the Friday video. Yep. Uh, Simon Kynes with two pounds. Writing is hard. Hugo and Jake. It is hard. Writing Writing is hard. Quality writing is hard. Um, not writing. Like, like, I mean like making something entertaining that you want to read 400 pages of, right? So like, or 200 or whatever. It's not a skill I possess. I'm barely. I'm order. pretty. I'm pretty good at writing, but not certainly not like top tier. Like I, I can. I think I could make with a good copy editor. I think I could. I think I could make a pretty good book. But I don't have the. I do a lot of stuff, so like I'm. I'm always making something usually. So because yeah. I work on D and D a lot, and I do this, and I do the streams, and and you know, so uh, I don't know if I have I have time for that shit. But I'd like to at some point. Maybe when we're done, we'll take a break from reading books and see where we want to get in three months, co-writing a thing and see if we like it while doing other videos. Sure. 
And if we like it, then we'll continue to do it. And then if we don't, we don't. Okay. That sounds fun. Kind of like a like a little bit of a different because I mean TJ wrote a fucking book. If TJ can write a book, I can write a book. <laughs> I put myself very near TJ's writing level. Let's be real. He he learned in, he went to school in Louisiana. We're okay. Uh, I'd buy a TBR book if you did. Thanks for the reply. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I uh, yeah. I mean that makes me happy. I'm glad. Mark's anime. No. Anyone can be R.L. Stein. I disagree. Here's why. R.L. Stein push those fuckers out. Like, even if you... That's a lot. No matter what you have to say about <clears throat> R.L. Stein as a writer, yeah. which, by the way, why are you shitting on a dude who got... Fuck R.L. Stein! Who got kids interested in reading. Well, of course you don't like it as an adult. It's for little children. It's not even for, like... I hope R.L. Stein's wart takes over his body. R.L. Stein pushed out more book... Like, yeah. he's Stephen King level as far as how much stuff he was just I can respect his door. worth ethic, work ethic without liking him. I, like... You, I don't understand. I like you. West Virginia miners, but they still voted for Trump. Fuck them. Why would you just like <coughs> R.L. Stein? What has he done? Scooch with two dollars. You guys have reading. gotten me some real th through some real hard times. Happy to uh, help. We get that uh, message a lot. Sure. We've helped people through stuff. Um, happy to uh, be of service. Wasn't the intention, uh, but it's a cool side effect of this dumb job. Sure. R.L. Stein's trash. Okay, R.L. Stein is not trash. Was God he damn. plagiarism? Was he actually plagiarism? I mean, no. some of this stuff was pretty plagiarism. Okay, do you, who who owns the idea of Killer Doll? That's been done a fuck ton of times. Who owns the idea of... Uh, he's playing he with... It's a way to introduce children to horror tropes. TJ's book And is... teach them to read better. It's for kids who can't read good. TJ's book is Brett Keen level stupid? I've never read it. Are you guys talking? Are you guys talking ill of TJ? Okay. <laughs> I won't stand for it. Yeah, I don't care. Um, try Story Jumper. It's free, and you can see how good at writing you are. Eh. Can you tell how much interest I have in that? I'm bad. Are you? Yeah. I think if you could speak it orally and someone could take it down, it would be better. Maybe, yeah. Adrian Fournier, come. We're almost done. Not good at writing. You can work for Sony Picture. It was a Sony burn. I could probably write a little bit better than that. What are you going to do with that on. tape? Are you going to tape your nose up? Well, now I'm not. Are you going to tape your lip up? No. Were you going to tape your nose up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else see Wreck-It Ralph 2? I watched that for the first time last night. Huge disappointment. Did they break the internet? Yeah, in like the last ten minutes, and it was a non-sequitur to the rest of the plot. It was very bad. It was a lot like a Di one of those Disney direct-to-DVD sequels from the 90s, like Aladdin Return of Jafar, story-wise. The first Wreck-It Ralph was really good. Yeah, I like the first Wreck-It Ralph, which is why I watched the sequel, but the se it felt like a pilot to a Wreck-It Ralph TV yeah. show, if that makes sense. It didn't feel like, this is a movie, it felt like, here's Ralph and Penelope getting into, I didn't know her name. Getting into adventures. I just think Sarah Silverman girl. The, Every the, time. The Disney princess parts were very good, though. Those were very funny. Simon Kynes, you've never helped me with anything except dementia. Thank you. Uh, Jacob Dunkel, can Jake slash TJ do a live wrestling match for charity? No, he would crush me to smithereens. Oil wrestling. <clears throat> yes. Although, is he TJ very... gets a banana, he's and way, he can do whatever he wants with it. He is way bigger than me. He is, he would, I would not be able to withstand. How tall is he? He's like 6'5". Oh, shit, really? He, yeah, he's like 350. Okay. I, I don't have, I'm, 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 I'm outclassed there. Yeah. I might be actually stronger, because I don't think he's ever done anything athletic in his life, but I don't think I'm strong enough. Does that make sense? Okay. What, is, what do you mean, okay? Just, I mean, okay. That's exactly what I said. What? Nothing. Do you think, I mean, maybe he's stronger. I don't know. Okay. okay. I said okay. It was just a real, it was a, it was like a really weird, like, I don't know. It didn't really make a lot of sense as far as a reply. Okay. That one did. That one made sense. 
I kind of want you to wear those leg warmers again. I don't know why. I like to get a gifable thing at the end of every one of these. Can't be the same thing, <coughs> though. No, what should it be? Hmm. Hmm. We should try those weird testicles soon. What's that? True lies? Oh, fuck. Jake versus TJ basketball? One on one. Oh, I would actually probably crush TJ in basketball, though. I'm still pretty good. I played basketball a lot. I could destroy this Babysitter's Club VHS. Man, that you guys are really railing on TJ today? Not really. Huh. <laughs> one person said his book was bad. It wasn't me. And then uh, I said he would beat me up in a wrestling match. That's a compliment. What is... What is... Oh, God! <laughs> There's your... You gotta do it higher. Why are you doing... There's your gif. Stream's over, I guess. That was... Take that, Babysitter's Club Christmas. Okay. Thanks whoever sent that to us. How does this even work? Magnets. How do they get the pictures to come out? I could open... I could break open McGee and me and see if there's video in this one. <laughs> No, I'm good. How much for you gonna get baked and read Musk's book? We could we could do a high stream. Fuck it, I could do. That. People are asking <coughs> me to live stream. I don't even have to play video games. I guess I could just read the Musk thing on my Twitch channel. Eh, you want to? Maybe I gotta go get a camera and mic because the other ones are here for. I mean, you could just do it here. Yeah, I don't want to do stuff at your house. That's not that's not what I mean. I mean, I don't want to like do. It's fine. You know. No, it's fine. It's, everything's fine. That babysitter's club VHS was more resilient than I thought. I, I feel like your knee's gonna hurt. Did that hurt? No. It okay. had Hugo the, would beat me in a wrestling the match. The problem was it had a Facts. little bit too much give in that <coughs> it was soft plastic, so when I did it, it was like bending, not <coughs> bending, you know what I mean? Just one asbesto. Use your big muscles, Hugo. Okay. Indiana Jones and the Eye of the Fates. Was that... Are we done? That Welcome. was the Choose Your Own Adventure Indiana Jones book. Welcome to this entire reading of Indiana Jones and the... We'll Eye do that another Fates. time. Off the coast of Greece, Fuck. August 1937. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. Well, Indiana Jones, your father asks, what have you got? Only the find of the century, says Indiana Jones, grinning widely as he pulls off his diving suit. The famous archaeologist has just climbed back on board your father's salvage boat. He has been exploring a sunken wreck, over 5,000 years old. Your father, the curator of the American Museum, is hoping to prove that the wreck is a ship that belonged to Perseus, the, le the legendary Greek hero. You should do D&D &D with TJ. No! Maybe.